Have you ever pondered the potency of nothingness? It's a bit of an odd question, isn't it? Nothingness, after all, implies the absence of something, a void, a vacuum. It seems counterintuitive to consider such emptiness as potent, let alone powerful. Yet there's a paradoxical strength in nothingness, a puzzling power that can be difficult to grasp. To better understand this, let's consider the analogy of an empty cup. At first glance, an empty cup might seem useless. After all, it's devoid of content, it holds nothing. But is it truly devoid of value? Consider this. The value of an empty cup lies not in what it contains, but in its capacity to contain. Its emptiness is its potential. It can hold water, tea, coffee, or any other beverage you might choose to pour into it. It can even hold non-liquid items like coins or keys or flowers. The possibilities are endless and that's where the value lies. But more than that, the empty cup serves as a reminder that emptiness is not synonymous with uselessness. In fact, it's quite the contrary. The cup's emptiness is what makes it useful. If it were already filled, it would have no room to hold anything else. Its utility, its purpose, its very essence lies in its emptiness. The same principle applies in our lives. How often do we too overlook the value of emptiness, of nothingness? How often do we fill every moment, every space, every silence, fearing the void, when in fact that void holds the potential for something new, something different, something meaningful? Just as the empty cup holds potential, so does the concept of nothingness in our lives. It's about creating space, allowing room for growth, for change, for transformation. It's about understanding that sometimes, in order to fill our lives with what truly matters, we must first embrace the power of nothingness. There was a time in my life when I felt I had nothing. Imagine a world cloaked in grey, where each day blends seamlessly into the next, devoid of colour and passion. A world where the sun rises and sets, yet brings no warmth. That was my world, a period in my life when I found myself lost in a maze of nothingness. During this time, I felt like a ship adrift at sea, without a compass to guide me, without a destination to reach. It was as if I had been stripped bare of direction, purpose and passion. Every day was just another day, a hollow echo of the previous one and a mirror of the next. But in this seemingly desolate landscape, a transformation was slowly brewing, unbeknownst to me, like a seed buried deep within the earth, silently gathering strength. My true calling was waiting, waiting to sprout from the barren soil of that nothingness. One day, as I sat alone contemplating my life, the realization hit me like a bolt of lightning. I was not lost. I was simply on a journey of self-discovery. The nothingness was not a prison, but a canvas. It was not a void, but a space brimming with potential. It was not a curse, but a blessing in disguise. This period of nothingness turned out to be a crucible, a purifying fire that burned away all the extraneous layers, all the false identities, all the noise, until all that was left was the raw, unfiltered essence of who I truly was. It was a time of deep introspection and self-reflection, a time of stripping away the inessential, a time of finding strength in vulnerability, a time of embracing the intangible. And so, from the ashes of that nothingness, my true calling emerged. It was not something that was handed to me on a silver platter, but something I had to discover for myself, something I had to carve out of that raw, unfettered nothingness. In that emptiness, I found my purpose. In nothingness, I found everything. What if I told you that your greatest strength could be found in nothingness? Now that might sound paradoxical, but let's delve deeper. We often perceive periods of emptiness or nothingness as negative spaces in our lives, voids that we look to fill with something, anything, to escape the discomfort. But what if we started to see these moments not as voids to be filled, but as catalysts for growth? Consider the seed buried deep within the earth. It is in that darkness, that nothingness, that it finds the strength to sprout, to grow, and to eventually bloom into a beautiful flower. It's the same with us. These periods of emptiness, where we might feel lost or devoid of purpose, are often the fertile ground from which we grow, transform, and find our true strength. Think of some of the most influential figures in history. Take Winston Churchill, for instance. Before he became Britain's beacon of hope during the darkest days of World War II, he battled what he called his black dog, severe bouts of depression. 
It was in those moments of nothingness, of despair, that he found the resilience and determination that would later define his leadership. Or consider J.K. Rowling, who before she dreamt up the magical world of Harry Potter, was a single mother living on welfare, going through a period of what seemed like nothingness. But it was during this time that she found her strength, her creativity and her purpose. So, the next time you find yourself in a period of emptiness, remember this. It's not a void to be filled with noise and distractions. It's an opportunity. An opportunity to grow, to transform, to find your strength. And who knows, perhaps like the seed, you too could bloom into something beautiful, something powerful. Sometimes it's in the emptiness that we find our true strength. Are you enjoying this journey into the power of nothingness so far? If you found these insights insightful and they're helping you see your periods of emptiness in a new light, why not give this video a like? Your support helps us create more content like this, sharing lessons of wisdom and power with the world. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. We delve into a range of topics, all aimed at helping you navigate life's complexities with a little more ease and a lot more wisdom. Stay tuned for our next segment where we'll be sharing some practical steps to help you embrace nothingness in your everyday life. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your engagement fuels our motivation to continue this enlightening journey. See you in the next segment. So how do we embrace this powerful nothingness? Cultivate mindfulness, dedicate solitude to your routine and embrace uncertainty. Embrace nothingness. It's not about doing, but about being. In this journey, we've discovered the paradoxical strength of nothingness. We began this exploration with a puzzling notion, the profound power of nothingness. It's in the silence between the notes that the music is born. It's in the emptiness of the canvas that the artist's vision springs to life. It's in the space between our thoughts that we find our deepest insights. In understanding this, We've seen how nothingness can be a fertile ground for creation. We then delved into a personal journey where we recognized that the pursuit of external accomplishments often leaves us feeling hollow. It's when we let go of the need to fill our lives with stuff and achievements that we begin to experience a sense of inner fullness. In the emptiness we find ourselves, we find our truth. We find a strength that is not dependent on anything external but springs from within us. Our exploration took us deeper into the strength in emptiness. We discovered that by embracing nothingness, we create space for everything. This space gives us the freedom to be, to grow, to change, to evolve. It allows us to be flexible and adaptable, to flow with life rather than against it. Embracing nothingness, we learned, is a powerful act of surrender, acceptance and ultimately strength. Next, we delved into practical steps to embrace nothingness. We learn to cultivate stillness, to practice mindfulness, to let go of attachments, and to surrender to the flow of life. These are not just actions. They are powerful shifts in perspective that can transform our lives. In the end, we've seen that nothingness is not an absence, but a presence. It's not a void, but a space filled with potential. It's not a weakness, but a source of strength. It's not an end, but a beginning. And so, I leave you with this thought. Perhaps in the grand scheme of things, nothingness isn't so nothing after all. Before we conclude this exploration of the profound power of nothingness, we'd like to take a moment to encourage you to interact with this video. If you found this journey insightful, if it resonated with you or sparked a new perspective, please give this video a like. It helps this content reach more people who might benefit from these lessons of wisdom and power. And if you'd like to continue exploring such intriguing concepts with us, do consider hitting the subscribe button. We have a lot more to share and we'd love to have you join us on this journey of discovery. Thank you for taking the time to engage with this content and remember, the power of nothingness is a concept worth sharing. Don't forget to like and subscribe.